It has been said that time is the fourth dimension. But in this theory we only need the three dimensions of our everyday life. Nothing highlights this better than this image from the International Space Station. In this image we see that a candle flame in near zero gravity naturally forms a sphere that is interacting with the environment on the surface of the sphere. The interior of the sphere can represent the Euclidean three-dimensional space of our everyday life with the familiar three spatial dimensions of forward, back, up, down and left, right. There is no fourth dimension of time here, but what we do have is a simple geometrical process that can represent the continuum of time as a process of continuous energy exchange forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. The concave inner surface and outer convex surface of the sphere forms the geometric reason why electric charge comes is to types in the form of positive and negative charge with the flow of electromagnetic fields. The momentum from the center of a sphere is always at right angles to the surface of the sphere giving us a geometrical reason why electrical magnetic fields are always at right angles to each other. Light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent therefore we have a universe made up of an infinite number of dynamic reference frames that are continuously interacting coming in and out of existence with the continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. Each reference frame has its own timeline from the past into the future with a potential uncertain future unfolding photon by photon with the movement of that charge with each new photon electron coupling or dipole moment. We have this potential because there are an infinite number of lines symmetries within a sphere that in this theory represent an infinite number of potential future timelines that form an infinity of possibilities. At the most fundamental level this process can be explained as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking relative to the atoms of the periodic table. A simple example of this is water with hydrogen bonds breaking and reforming releasing photon energy with the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the atoms or molecules of the flowing water. The interactive potential of this process can be seen with water being able to form the shape of any object that it is poured into. This process is relative to the temperature of an individual reference frame. The same process can be seen in environmental temperature variations in photon energy forming infinite snowflake diversity with no two snowflakes in the world being identical. Another example is photosynthesis the scientific ability plant life has to use sunlight or photon energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. Basically the entire trick of photosynthesis is to form a concentration gradient between positive and negative charge with the future unfolding relative to the structure of the plant with the movement of that charge. The same simple geometry can be seen in cell life with individual cells interacting with the movement of positive and negative charge across the membrane of the cell. We have a future unfolding relative to each cell of our body in just three dimensions with a built-in statistical probability that is needed for the potential diversity of life. This potential can also be seen with the Fibonacci spiral being visible in nature and throughout the physical universe. This is not because of economy of growth, but because the Fibonacci spiral represents part of a dynamic universal process of symmetry forming and breaking. It is because the universe is a continuum based on one universal geometrical process that we see the same imperfect geometrical patterns in nature as we see in deep space. With the dynamic hyperbolic geometry of Einstein's relativity formed on the infinite inner concave surface of a finite three-dimensional Euclidean sphere, this forms a dynamic boundary condition or curvature of space-time that is continuously changing with energy slowing up the rate that time flows as a process of continuous creation or energy exchange. The unity and oneness of this process can be seen mathematically with both electromagnetism and Newton's gravity sharing the inverse square law with gravity being a secondary force to electromagnetism. 
we see objects free falling towards the greatest energy because it has the greatest time dilation as part of a three-dimensional geometrical process with electromagnetism. In this theory there is no need for any more than three dimensions with time as an integral part of a universal process of energy exchange. The parallel universes of string theory just represent future possibilities and opportunities within this process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. The great thing about a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking is that it can form not just disorganization or entropy, but also the potential for ever greater symmetry formation with life only ever being an infinitesimal potential of what it could be and that will always be so. The uniqueness of every sunset with the diversity and uncertainty of life can only be created out of a potential infinity of possibilities with creation being in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe and rate it will help the promotion of this theory.